considering a career in the exhibitions and event industry? The first question asked by those not familiar with the exhibitions and events industry generally runs along the lines of, what exactly does that mean? If you are considering entering this line of work, your next question might be, so what would I be doing? The fundamental purpose of exhibitions and events is to bring the buyer and the seller together. Whether you are dealing in a corporate or nonprofit environment, you will most likely have some kind of product or service to offer and people who are interested in it, or people who you want to be interested in it. Exhibitions are unique experiential marketing events. Unlike any other marketing communications media, exhibitions and events allow the engagement of all five senses, touch, smell, sight, hearing, and taste. They allow interested parties to ask questions, try products, and to see and compare all products. In addition, Social opportunities create the perfect networking environment for both the buyer and the seller. Your job as a show organizer or convention planner is to create a great experience for the attendees and the exhibitors who participate in your events. A typical exhibition may include general learning sessions, receptions, awards presentations, industry keynote speakers, workshop education sessions, board of directors and other committee meetings, recreational activities such as golf and tennis. A typical day in the life on show site is a long one. It starts at 4.30 a.m. and ends around 11 p.m. You may wonder why it is all worth it. As an organizer, you get to be a part of a large yet tightly knit industry. Veterans of the industry are well known among their peers and are often deferred to for advice. Some important information about an organizer's background, education, and salary. The professional backgrounds of those involved in the industry are as varied as the individuals themselves. I work for a company who owns and produces 18 trade shows. I myself, I come from a background of education. I was a school teacher for 22 years. So with my educational background, Hanley Wood thought that I would be a fit to come in and do the content development and uh, produce an educational program. Then they could grow the exhibition side of it. When you look at the background of education, you would think, well, what could Hanley Wood see in that? Planning, you've got lesson plans. I had working with curriculum development, working with students, being able to speak in front of them. But you've got meeting planning with all the art shows and the club meetings that I was involved in, even drill team banquets. As simple as those seems, those are experiences that can help you in this industry. According to an industry survey, more than three quarters, 76% of professionals have a college degree and 22% have some postgraduate education or an advanced degree. Salary ranges from $42,300 to $100,700 for positions ranging from assistant coordinator to vice president. Certified in Exhibition Management, CEM. Industry professionals are highly encouraged to secure the CEM designation since it offers a direct link to others in your field and the ongoings of the industry itself. Many industry associated groups also offer certification programs, such as IAEE's Certified in Exhibition Management Learning Program. The CEM designation was created in 1975 to provide a professional designation for individuals in the exhibition industry. The designation was formed to raise professional standards and is recognized throughout the industry as the premier mark of professional achievement. To earn the designation, participants must complete a nine-part program within three years. The program is composed of seven mandatory courses and two courses chosen from five available electives. Advanced level courses are also available for CEMs to continue their professional education and obtain recertification. Courses are offered throughout the year at various locations and online. Rewind to nine years ago, I was an administrative assistant at the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. I decided to leave Susan G. Komen to go to the American Heart Association, and while I was at the American Heart Association, I found out about classes at Richland College that catered mainly to people that were interested in the meeting and event industry. So I can say that, you know, Richland College, if I had not been there, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I really genuinely believe that the opportunities that were given to me from Rich, through Richland College, you know, have really 
helped me to grow as a person. Had I not been there, sat next to some of those, some of those very same people that I sat next to in class, I and when it was my chance to be able to hire someone, I was able to hire some of those students. And we are still friends to this day. I would still recommend them for anything. And if something came up at Hanley Wood, I would still give them a call and say, hey, come on over here, because I know now what they're teaching at Richland, and I know, you know, just from our personal experience of working together, what can be done and accomplished. You may wonder, how does the industry look in the future? Exhibitions and events is a growth industry, as just about every business market sector requires methods in which to bring its buyers and sellers together. The Center for Exhibition Industry Research, SEER, reports on this growth in its annual SEER Index. The SEER Index provides exhibition industry performance across 11 key industry sectors. The basis for this universe is the Exhibition Industry Census, which has cataloged more than 13,000 events with at least 3,000 net square feet of exhibit space.